Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our weekly live healing session. If you're new, my name is Alessandra Martellini. I'm an intuitive coach, energy healer, and theta healing instructor. I've been doing these weekly lives for a month and a half, I think, and it's been so fun. If you're watching live, say hello so I know you're here. You guys know that the more you participate, the more you interact, the better for me and the better for you. The more you, you give me, the more I can take, right? I, I'm able to, to really tune in to what you guys need. And if you're watching the replay, everything that we do during the live works perfectly, the same way. It's all energy. And you will receive the same healings. Hi Laura, hi Debbie, hi Didi, welcome, welcome. Hi Rhonda, good morning for you guys. For me it's almost evening. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to start actually thanking you. If you've been in my group, for a while you guys know that this is the beginning of my business of my online business and I would not be able to do this without your support I really wouldn't so I'm so grateful that I'm attracting such amazing people honestly I receive so much love from you guys so much support so much everything you know and it really gives me the energy to do this you know because you guys know it's not every moment of every day that we're feeling amazing right and then it's ugh, the universe is perfect every time I'm feeling down and I'm feeling like oh why bother why am I doing this I always receive some sort of push a boost from you guys so thank you thank you thank you thank you Hi Sandy, Red, hello. Did you say, okay, it's okay. You can watch the replay afterwards if you cannot stay until the end. I do recommend to stay, if you cannot stay until the end, that you watch the replay because towards the end, we're gonna have a very, very interesting DNA activation. Yay, <laughs> you're gonna love it. Hi Laura Lee, welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Yes, okay. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. So today, I feel like we're gonna do, we're gonna try something a bit different. Usually, we talk about the topic, and towards the end, I do a, a energy healing, right? So today, we're gonna do simultaneously. I'm gonna start with a meditation. I'm gonna guide you guys on the meditation, on the theta healing meditation, and so you can all be on the same vibration okay and then as we talk about the topic of today which is uh, beauty and aging issues uh, every belief that comes up everything that comes up to be cleared we just clear at the moment okay um, as usual if, you, if you're new to it uh, I always need your permission I cannot make any changes unless you allow me to so if I connect and I say, can I change this? Can I do this? You say yes. You don't have to type in the comments. You can say yes out loud. Obviously, I will not listen. I will not hear it, but the universe will. Okay, so you can receive this energetic change. Okay? All right. Um... So the topic of today is the second part of the Healing Yourself Image series. Last week we, talk, we talked about weight and body issues, so if you haven't uh, seen, seen the, the live, you can watch the replay. I already left all the, the, 
the links on the description of this video so feel free to explore <laughs> and if you want if you're not part of my facebook group yet i welcome you to join uh, i'm creating such a beautiful community of amazing people and other than the lives the lives are available on my um, on my page but sometimes i do something different there sometimes i go live if i'm inspired just for people in my group and i'm always creating conversations so we can really get to know each other and support each other i'm always asking questions and thank you guys for replying to the questions it really helps me to prepare the content of the lives and yes okay I think I'm done talking, let's meditate, shall we? <laughs> Take a sip of water. Get comfortable. I'm gonna guide us all into a theta healing meditation. Just listen to the sound of my voice, follow the instructions. You may visualize things with your mind's eye or you may sense or feel things just trust whatever happens okay take a deep breath in start bringing awareness to your body You're gonna imagine the energy from the core of the earth going up through the soles of your feet. This mother earth energy, grounding energy. It's gonna ground you, nurture you. It's gonna come up throughout your legs, your hips, Aligning all your chakras from the base of your spine all the way up Until it comes out from the top of your head in the form of a bubble of light A part of your consciousness is gonna be inside this bubble of light safe and protected Take a moment to notice what color this ball of light is Mine is multicolored today. <clears throat> it's transparent. Excuse me, so you can see around you. And you're gonna start traveling upwards, up through the roof, through the atmosphere, through the galaxies, the stars, the planets going up and up remember you're safe and protected inside this bubble of light keep going upwards all the way to the universe you're gonna re reach a series of lights some bright lights and dark lights go through those lights Keep breathing, use your breath. Keep going upwards. And the higher you go, the more relaxed, connected, and calm you become. Keep going upwards. You're gonna reach a golden light. Go into this light. This is the realm of the ascended masters, the angels. Go through this layer of light, up. This layer feels very cozy because it's where your soul was born. Keep going upwards until you reach a, a jelly-like substance with all the colors of the universe. These are the laws. There are many, many laws. Law of gravity, law of attraction, law of magnetism. And you're going to reach for pink mist. 
which is love compassion. Allow this pink mist to surround you in your bubble of light. And it's gonna guide you through a door, a window, into a bright iridescent white light. Go into this light, keep, <clears throat> keep going upwards. <clears throat> this is the seventh plane of existence. The energy of creation, the source of unconditional love that created everything and everyone. You can call it however you want. Divine intelligence, God, creator, whatever name you want to call it. And as you go into this light, you're going to start feeling the bubble around you dissolving and you become one with this energy of love. You are one with this energy. You are unconditional love. Take a moment to notice how it feels to be in this energy. <clears throat> From this place, we can do anything. <clears throat> so we're going to ask for instant healing. We're going to ask for unconditional love to be sent to us. Creator of all that is, it is commanded that unconditional love is sent to every cell of my body. Thank you, it is done, it is done, show me. You're going to witness. However you witness it, you may visualize, feel, sense, or hear. Just trust. Don't force it, just allow this energy to do it. You can imagine a waterfall of unconditional love, of bright light, if you want. Just allow this energy to be downloaded into every cell of your body. Awakening every cell. Awakening the life force energy that exists in every part of your body. Everything that is ready to be released and transformed will be. Keep breathing deeply. Allow this energy to move through you. And you can set an intention. What do you want from this healing today? Maybe you want to feel a certain way. Maybe there is a specific thing that you want resolved, that you want at least some clarity. Just set this intention mentally. And it is done. It is done. Keep breathing, allow this energy to go all over your body. Yeah. And now we're going to just ask the Creator that this healing is done for the highest and best way. That everything they are ready to become aware and to release, you will. Okay, take a deep breath in. Just 
keeping this connection with this bright light, with this energy of love, open your eyes. <clears throat> Whew. I always get hot doing this, <laughs> don't you guys? Such a beautiful energy, isn't it? I love it. Okay. Let's ground <laughs> and talk about our topic, beauty and aging issues. Wait, I need to ground myself. I'm still there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so going back to the questions that I asked you guys in my Facebook group, do you think you're beautiful? A lot of you don't. Oh, Debbie saying, oh my God, open my eyes. There was a bird flying at my window. <laughs> Interesting. Birds have a lot of meaning. A lot. Uh, it signifies change, transformation, and obviously freedom. <laughs> okay, let's begin. So basically, we don't believe we're beautiful, right? We have a lot of beliefs that invalidate our beauty. Hmm. What a life! <laughs> uh, I asked you guys also if you believed that you were beautiful growing up. And um, the reason I asked you is because a lot of our beliefs are formed in childhood, right? So if you didn't, if no one told you they were beautiful as you were growing up, you wouldn't believe it, right? Um, earlier today I was talking to one of you and some points came that are very interesting about all of this. Um, we, we have this need for other people to validate our beauty. But the interesting thing is, because I asked you guys, how do you feel like when you when people compliment you, compliment your beauty, your, your clothes, right? Physical things. And a lot of you were like, mm, I feel uncomfortable, but specific things you would be you would feel okay with. And then I realized talking to Red today, um the thing is, we accept the compliments on the things that we already believe. So, if I already believe that I'm pretty, and you say I'm pretty, I'll be like, oh, thank you, I know. <laughs> I don't need you to validate me. But if I don't believe that I'm pretty, and you tell me I'm pretty, even though I am expecting the validation from the exterior, I will not have it. Does it make sense what I'm saying? If we don't believe internally something, in this case, that I'm beautiful, we're always going to be expecting other people to validate it. But because we don't know how to feel it, and it starts within, always, right? We are not going to believe it, right? And then what's going to happen is, is you're not going to integrate it. You're not going to accept it as truth, right? You're going to be like, hmm. Maybe this person is drunk. Maybe this person is just being nice. Maybe it's just a lie, right? And then we dismiss ourselves. You know, like all of us have done this before. Someone compliments a piece of clothing, like, oh, I paid $5. It's like, so what? <laughs> We're trying to, to, to diminish the value of it, right? Why not say, yes, I love it too, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Shuhi, I love your name. It's a beautiful meditation. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <sighs> um, so, accepting compliments only only happen when you, we already believe it. To, to illustrate this, so you can really understand why things have to start from inside us first. Do you have, have you ever met some person, like someone, that physically speaking from uh, societal standards, they're not that pretty, but everybody pays attention to them because they have such a strong belief that they are beautiful, that everybody acts accordingly. Has it ever happened to you, right? And then someone, on the other hand, that you think it's so freaking beautiful, but doesn't really think they're beautiful, doesn't have the same effect on people, right? So beauty is a matter of belief in how you behave, right? Yeah, as everything, obviously. <laughs> Laura Lee saying, that's interesting. I've totally noticed myself accepting versus not accepting certain compliments. Makes so much sense, right? So true, isn't it? The thing is, we need to validate ourselves first. Otherwise, no sort of validation, external validation will ever work, right? Exactly, uh, confidence is beautiful. That's that exactly it, it's like having confidence, you know, that I am perfect, you know? And we're talking about beauty today, but we've been talking about other, other things as well in other lives. Like it's having confidence in your skills, in what you're doing, right? And of course, it takes practice, it takes a lot of healing. We have so many beliefs that say that we're not good enough, right? And in today's topic, that we're old, we're too old, <laughs> we're too ugly, we're too fat, all those things. Guys, everything is a belief. All those things are a belief. And what happens is, we create our lives according to the beliefs that we have, right? That's it. This plane of existence that we live in, the third plane of existence, is based on our beliefs, our thoughts. That's what creates this reality, right? And an easy way to understand it is <laughs> if you're trying to find, let's say you want to buy a, a a red car and out of a sudden you start seeing red cars everywhere right because your mind is now tuned in to a red car it's not like everybody just instantly like from one day to the next bought red cars <laughs> they were always there but you didn't pay attention to it because you were not looking for it right so if we have the belief oh I'm ugly oh I don't deserve it oh, I'm so fat, I'm so ugly. Our brain and the universe is going to say, yes, amen. So it, they're, they're going to give you evidence to support your beliefs. Does it make sense? And you're going to find it. You will find evidence that you're ugly, you're old, and blah, 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 because that's what you're paying attention to. Does it make sense? Yeah? Whew. So let's start doing clearings. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I need your permission. So can we disconnect you from this collective consciousness? Let's say that you're too, fill the blank, too old, too ugly, too fat. Too fleshy. I don't know who has this belief, but one of you does. <laughs> okay. Can we clear the belief that you don't deserve to be seen because you're not pretty enough? You're not confident enough? Oh, can we clear the belief that confidence comes from val external validation? and teach you how to accept and be grateful for the validation that comes from 
other people, but it begins with you. Can we disconnect this uh, dependency towards other people's validation of your beauty, of your intelligence, of your body, of your abilities? Whew. Just allow this energy to be downloaded to you. The changes will be made in all levels of your being, all languages. It's energetic, but it's also physical. We're changing the synapses in our brain. That's what's, what's happening. Beautiful. Okay. A lot of you uh, are still stuck in childhood because you never got the validation you needed back then. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to give yourself this validation. You're going to imagine yourself in front of you, your inner child. Allow it to come. However uh, it comes, it can be whatever age it needs, this validation that it never got for whatever reason. We're talking about beauty, but it can come different things, okay? Just trust whatever creator shows you. So allow your inner child that needs validation and never got it to show up in front of you. You can visualize it, you can feel it, you can just know it, just trust it. And you're going to ask, you're going to have a conversation with her or with him. Ask, how are you feeling? What happened? What do you need that you never got? And just let them speak. Tell them what they need. And then you're going to give it to them. You're going to parent your inner child. If they just need you to be there with them, just be there with them. Maybe they need you to tell them that you love them. Say, I love you. You're perfect. You're so pretty. Look at this. And compliment specific things. Look at this smile. You have such a radiant smile. You have deep eyes. Whatever it is that you need to hear, that this child needs to hear, just give it to them. Tell them. You can tell them out loud or in your mind, however you prefer. <clears throat> Keep asking, how are you feeling? What else do you need? Some of you are holding a lot of embarrassment. So can we just clear the shame for liking the things you like, for looking the way you look? In any way that you're comparing yourself to someone, specifically or not, or in general, someone else, can we clear this pattern of comparison? You don't have to compare yourself. Not anymore. Another person's light does not dim your own. That's not how it works. <laughs> we can all be beautiful together. That's not what we learn from society, but that's the truth. If I'm pretty, you can be pretty too. My beauty reflects back to back at your pretty, uh, your beauty. Does it make sense? That's how it works. It's not like oh, you're prettier than me. Oh, you have this better than me. No, it's about acknowledging what is beautiful about you without comparing. Okay, so keep talking to your inner child. I'll give you a few seconds just to ask what else they need and just give it to them, whatever it is. Be the parents that you never had.
if they need a hug, just hug them. Hug them, give them love, send them all your love. Tell them, I love you, you're perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. And when you feel that they're happy, you're gonna imagine them getting very, very tiny until you can place them inside your heart. Place your inner child within you, back into your heart. And all those things that you gave them, you're gonna receive as well, now. All this love, this acceptance, this energy, all the things you tell you tell them are yours. Imagine all this energy expanding around your heart into your whole body. <clears throat> Until you know that you are pretty, you're beautiful, you're perfect, you deserve love. You are loved. And the Creator teach you how it feels like to feel love and feel loved and knowing that you deserve it. You always deserved it. You were never disconnected from the source of love. You are always connected to the Creator, to the universe, to the source of unconditional love. Always. You just forgot. And now we're remembering. Take a deep breath in when you're ready. Come back to the energy of love, the bright light. Imagine it showering over you like a waterfall of love if you want. And keeping this connection, but still grounding you. Imagine the energy from the earth grounding you. And come back, open your eyes. <clears throat> Ooh, whoa. <laughs> okay. Second part about aging, looking old. Right? Um, I asked you inside my Facebook group, are you afraid of looking old? Some of you are, and I asked you what is the worst thing about growing old for you, and some things were interesting. We have beliefs about growing old that um, age, with age comes illness, right? It's kind of like something that is expected, right? I'll grow old, I'll lose my memory. Right? I'll lose my ability to, to move my body the way that I do now. Right? And again, what we believe, we create. Right? I live in Italy. There's a lot of old people here. And it's so interesting to see how different they are. Some of them, they have more energy than I do. <laughs> and some of them, like, they barely walk. And I can see, I mean, I'm intuitive, right? I see the energy. I can see all the weight that they're carrying emotionally right, that make them, like, just buy into this uh, belief that they're, it's just like a matter of waiting for, for death. How horrible, how horrible, right? Wouldn't it be better to know that you can grow old and be healthy, still be healthy, right? Still do the things that you do right now, the same things. Why not? Why the hell not, <laughs> right? It's just a very big collective consciousness belief, right? That we grow old, we, ah, that's a very big one. When we grow old, we lose the value for society, right? That's horrible. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I'm not even gonna go into that. Let's just clear that. Um, okay, let's clear this belief. Let's clear the belief. If you want, say yes out loud. Let's clear the belief that 
as you grow old, you become a weight for society. You lose value. The older you are, the less valuable you are. If you want this, you can receive. And can we teach you, can the creator teach you how to see the value in growing old? With age comes wisdom. That's it. And self-awareness. And self-control in a way that you will know yourself so much, so well, that you're going to make the best choices. The best choices. Right? Okay, can we also clear the belief that old people are ugly and disgusting? That you're going to lose your beauty when you grow old? Can we also clear the belief that you're going to lose the, the, your sexiness, your, your attractiveness? You're going to be less attractive. Why not? Can we teach you that you can and how it feels like to be a sexy grandma? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? Even more sexy than you already are. Hmm? Okay. <sighs> okay, can we clear the belief that you need to hide your age? That you need to disguise, you know, like the, the gray hair, <laughs> the wrinkles. And can it teach you how to be proud of them? You don't have to grow old fast or more than necessary than what's normal. You don't have to create wrinkles <laughs> that don't have to be there. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you can embrace the process of getting old. Okay. Can we clear the, the embarrassment, the shame for your wrinkles? Uh, your age? Mm -hmm. And replace it with pride and happiness and confidence. Your age that you have right now is the best age. Doesn't matter how old you are, it's always the best age. Always. <laughs> because you have it now. Simple as that. Okay, a lot of you are already creating um, pain. That is purely because you believe, you believe that with age comes pain. So all the pain in your body that, it are cre that were created because of, you, of this belief, can we clear that? You're just going to imagine the energy of love going into the place that you have pain and releasing it. You don't have to hold on to this pain just because you're growing old. Let it out. Just breathe into it. If it is your back, you can massage your back and just breathe into it. Breathe this energy of unconditional love, this life force into it. If it's your knee, the same thing, whatever it is for you. Just allow the pain to be released from your body. And can we give you another belief that uh, as you grow old, you grow stronger. As you grow old, you grow stronger. Beautiful. <sighs> Keep sending this unconditional love, this bright light into your body. Whatever it needs, just witness it, allow it to happen. Okay. Can we also clear the fear of regret? Some of you mentioned this, that you're afraid that you grow old and you're gonna be re you're gonna regret the things you haven't achieved. So can we clear the belief that you are as valuable as your achievements in life? 
and teach you that you're already valuable. You're already worthy and deserving of love and abundance and everything you want. Age has nothing to do with it. Nothing. Beauty has nothing to do with it. Can we, can we reconnect you with your self-trust? With that, that inner voice, that inner guidance that you have? Just reconnect with it. Can we also clear, because like with each set of age comes like specific expectations, right? Oh, in your, in your 30s, you're supposed to be married and have three, three children. Oh, you're like 50, you're supposed to be rich already, a millionaire. Can you just clear that? Disconnect from this consciousness. You can imagine like a cloud. This is like the collective consciousness that you're connected to. And you're gonna disconnect like a plug in an outlet. You're gonna disconnect from it and connect with the new cloud we're forming, with a new awareness that you are free to do what the heck you want to do. <laughs> it doesn't matter your age, where you come from. You're free. You have freedom to choose whatever is best for you. Always. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of you are not allowing this to happen because you have some cords. Like, I feel like in your backs, people draining your energy, people that you think you're responsible for. So can we clear this negative cords? In any way that people are dragging you down because you feel responsible for their lives. Of course, some some of you are responsible for children, but there's a difference between being responsible in a way of like taking care or taking their free will away. Because the thing is, I've mentioned this so many times already. When we take the responsibility for other people's lives, we're taking their power away because we don't believe in our own power right so it's easy for me to control your life than to acknowledge my power and acknowledge your power right so can i teach you how to acknowledge everybody else's power without you having to control them because you don't believe in your own power and release the responsibility that you're carrying for other people's awakening their lives their decisions they have free will we all have free will all of us, always. So just allow Creator to release those cords, those energetic cords from your back, from your solar plexus, on your stomach area. The positive cords will stay. The loving cords will stay. We're just gonna release the negative ones. You can imagine Archangel uh, Michael cutting those cords with his sword, if you want always helpful <laughs> beautiful take a deep breath in Ooh. okay <laughs> okay I want you to keep your eyes closed but touch your face very gently and as you touch your face you're gonna say to yourself out loud or in your mind I love you you're so beautiful. I love you. Say your name. Alessandra, I love you. I love you. You're so pretty. I love your eyes. I love your face. I love your body. You're so beautiful inside and out. And notice how happy yourselves feel when you do that they're giggling <laughs> is it too crazy now nah, you love me for being crazy <laughs> beautiful can we teach you how to love yourself as you are 
because you're perfect. Two. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let it out through your mouth. Out loud, like this. <sighs> Again. <sighs> A few seconds and just notice how it feels. All these clearings. Now, we're going to do something very cool. Keep your eyes closed. We're going to do a DNA activation. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but we have this phantom DNA strands, like these chromosomes of youth and vitality that are kind of dormant for so many reasons. You can read on the Peter Hewing book if you want. <laughs> but we're going to awaken them. Sounds fun. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Go back into the energy of creator, the bright iridescent white light. And we're gonna make a command. Creator of all that is, it is commanded that the activation of the youth and vitality chromosomes in myself, you can say your name, is made on this day. Thank you, it is on this day, and show me Show me the master cell in the pineal gland. Here's what's gonna do, it's gonna happen. Inside your brain, there's the pineal gland, right in the middle. And inside the pineal gland, there's a master cell. It's like the controller of all the other cells. So if we make changes in this cell, all the other cells will have the same effect. Like it's gonna, it's gonna send the same signal, okay? So we can just make the change in this master cell. So just witness, you can visualize it or just feel it as the creator awakens, activates the youth and the vitality chromosomes. Chromosomes come in pairs, so you might see two flashes for each chromosome, okay? Just allow it to happen. Okay, sometimes it's, it happens so fast that you don't really see it. If it happens too fast, you can say, Creator, can you please show me again in slow motion so I can witness and then just witness. As the youth and vitality chromosomes are activated in the master cell inside the pineal gland. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna ask for every genetic programs for aging to be transformed. So creator of all that is, it is commanded that gene work is facilitated and all the genetic programs for me, you can state your name, for aging and getting older, are pulled, canceled, transformed, sent to God's light and replaced with a program of I am young and ageless, forever regenerating. Thank you, it is done, it is done. Show me again, same process inside the pineal gland, the master cell, you're gonna witness as these genetic programs for aging, for getting older are replaced for the belief that I'm young, I'm ageless, I am forever regenerating. I look younger each day. I look more alive each day. Just allow it to happen. Creator will do the work. It's done on a gen genetic level. So physically speaking, your genes are being altered right now. <laughs> How cool. Again, if it happens too fast, you can ask Creator to show you in slow motion.
and just witness as it is, as it is done. The master cell is going to send the same information to every other cell in your body. <sighs> Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Can we also teach you how it feels like that you can look even more beautiful every day that you know how to <clears throat> feel beautiful feel confident feel happy in being who you are now and forever if you want to say yes out loud you're going to receive it <sighs> can we oh okay can we also activate the gene of confidence i didn't even know there was a thing but apparently it is so the same process, just allow creator to activate this gene within your DNA in the master cell. Again, it's a pair, so two flashes if you witness it. You can release any remaining programs that you are a victim, you're powerless, you're supposed to be small, you need to hide and that you're nothing. Just allow creator to release those programs and replace them with your safe and you're ready to shine. Can we also teach you that your uniqueness, what makes you different that were never validated before is what makes you strong. How to see your weakness as a strong suit, like as as a as, as your superpower, as what makes you you, and how to appreciate it, how to love it, how to honor it, and how to shine it through. Stop hiding it. The world needs you. You not a copy of someone else. He needs you. Beautiful. Can we clear this belief that you're not needed, that you're useless, and teach you, let creator show you that you are needed, you're wanted, you're desired. And how to feel this way every single day. Whoa, beautiful. Okay, take a deep breath in. Imagine again that energy of unconditional love showering you, integrating this healing. And imagine the energy of, from the core of the earth grounding you all the way up to your feet, your legs, aligning your chakras one more time from the base of your spine all the way up to the top of your head. The energy of earth and sky are within you. You're connected. You are them. Always connected. You're always high and you're always grounded. Take a deep breath in. When you feel ready, come back and open your eyes. That was amazing. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Boil. Uh, the replay is going to be available right after we finish so you can watch it again. Why do you mean you hate being here? You hate being here on planet Earth. Can you clarify, please? Beautiful people, tell me how you're doing, how you're feeling. Um, as you tell me, as I wait for your comments, a few things. Um, this week, I'm doing another Facebook Live in a different group that I'm part of. 
and um, we're going to talk about dealing with fear and anxiety. The, the, the link is in the description of this video, so if you want to join, you're welcome to join. Um, okay. Other than that, next week we're going to do the part three of this series of healing our self-image. I have a feeling we need to talk about shame and sexuality. Haha, uh -huh. how it feels like. <laughs> so I think we're going to talk about this next week. Yeah. What else do I need to tell you? As usual, if you need my help, book a private session. Yesterday I posted in my Facebook group that I'm starting to do, add this guidance to start doing uh, what I'm calling personalized intuitive readings. It's going to be different than the, the therapy sessions. Uh, all the details are inside my Facebook group. You can take a look. It's a cheaper option and you receive the audio of the reading on a specific issue or situation that you need clarification. You're going to get clarity and guidance and a, a, a channeled meditation in an audio that I'm going to send you. Okay, so you can I think there's still two places available for this launching price. <laughs> so feel free to contact me. It's an experiment, so if it works out, if I you know if it's a good thing, I'll keep doing it. But let's see. I'm excited. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let me see what you're doing. Okay, we saying refresh. Good. I'm just saying, wow, I really felt changed today. I want to keep this feeling. It's yours. It's yours to keep. <laughs> uh, before I forget, this activation is strong. So for the next three days or so, you can feel a little bit you know, of rearranging in your body. So please drink a lot of water. A lot of water. Seriously. Otherwise, you can get some uh, cold-like symptoms. Right, so let's just avoid it. Just drink water, <laughs> okay? <laughs> easy, just easy. Uh, he's saying amazing, it's a snow day here in Canada. Ooh, nice. So I was able to join, divinely timed. Yes, very powerful healing. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, thank you so much. Debbie's saying, whoa, that was beautiful. Got goosebumps, yes, ice flickering. Oh, yay, that's what happens when we do this meditation, yeah. Lots of vibrant colors, orange, green, and red, and magenta. Feel like, feel like got a crown or something on my head. Wow, love it, love it. You're finally taking your place as queen, <laughs> right? There's a lot of Canada people in my community. I love it. I love Canadians. <laughs> love it. <sighs> Wow, that was intense, wasn't it? Patricia's in Romania, cool. Beautiful people, thank you so much for joining me again. See you next week, or if you want to join on the, the other group, you can see the, the, the event on Thursday. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about dealing with fear, anxiety and next week inside my group and on my page we'll talk about i think shame and sexuality yay <laughs> it's gonna be interesting <sighs> okay beautiful people thank you so much patrice is saying i have a question i don't understand all the words does this count what do you mean Ah, Rhonda, thank you. Thank you, guys. The link is on the description of this video, so once uh, I finish the live, you're going to see it. Yeah? Yeah, it's... I will post inside my Facebook group as well, but in the description of this, this live, you're going to see it. Okay? Okay, beautiful people. Thank you so much. Wow, the first time I finished within one hour. Wow, I'm getting good at it. <laughs> Okay, have a beautiful day or beautiful evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.